time. Yes, it is. We're always excited about that. We're almost one week into the new year, and we hope you're still feeling rested. Look at wow. that beautiful shot. Oh, my goodness. Because there is a lot going on here in Cleveland and Northeast Ohio in the year 2024. That's right. This year's poised to be, in fact, one of the most exciting and impactful yet. So we asked our own Mike Polk Jr. to take a look at all of the biggest events that are heading our way. Well, it's no secret that Cleveland is a renowned cultural hotspot. With so much going on in 2024, I'm clearly unable to include everything awesome that's happening around town this year, but I'll try to hit as many as possible in what little time we have. So what do you say we get started chronologically? Beginning with January 18th, the Cleveland Boat Show arrives. And yes, the water skiing squirrel is back. Why did you have to ask? January 20th, Guardians Fan Fest will feel hollow without Tito, but we'll get through it together. January 28th, tennis anyone? It's the Cleveland Open. Moving on to February. On the 8th, Madonna. On the 9th, Cleveland Beer Fest. On the 10th, Curran Cabana. It makes more sense when you're there. The 23rd, Cleveland Auto Show. The 24th, Bright Winter Fest. And that's the same day that the buzzers return to Hinkley. Imagine what a confusing sentence that must be for anyone who's not from around here and also probably many who are. The magnificent Cleveland International Film Festival kicks off on April 3rd. And that's a busy week because we also have the NCAA Women's Final Four and the Guardian's Home Opener, which is the same day that Cleveland will be experiencing a major solar eclipse. Side note, I just have to give Mayor Bibb and his administration kudos for securing this eclipse event for Cleveland by making sure that we fell within the path of totality. Great job, Mr. Mayor. On the 12th, Cleveland Fan Expo. That's where everyone gets dressed up like this. May 18th, Cleveland Marathon. No thanks, but good for them. May 25th, the Berea Rib Cook-Off, a.k.a. Cleveland Burning Man. June 8th, the deliciously ostentatious Parade the Circle. Back to the Future arrives at Playhouse Square on June 11th, which is itself in the future. And then we've got concerts by New Kids on the Block and the Rolling Stones, but not on the same bill. That would be ridiculous. July 22nd is Moses Cleveland Day, so be safe and book your hotels now. August 2nd, Twinsburg Twins Day Festival. Been there. Not my thing. Little Italy's Feast of the Assumption kicks off on August 15th. Hootie and the Blowfish are at Blossom that same night, so tough choices. put in Bay's Bash on the Bay is August 21st, and they should be finished cleaning up by mid-September. Of course, we have hollow weekends through October, followed by the Rock Hall induction ceremony in November when it returns to Cleveland, which kind of makes sense when you think about it because this is where the Rock Hall is. And finally, by the end of the year, the grand opening of Sherwin-Williams' new headquarters downtown, forever altering our city's landscape and rendering all of your Cleveland skyline silhouette prints instantly worthless. Now, of course, that's been a mere sampling of all the great events going on in Cleveland this year, with many still being scheduled. For example, I wasn't even able to include the Super Bowl victory parade because we're all still working out the logistics and timing on that. WKYC wishes you and yours a very Cleveland in 2024. Optimism, I love that. You can oh, never, yeah. you can never get to everything, guys. You yeah. know that you can just never get to. There's just so much to do around here. Yeah. I barely got to touch on a lot of stuff that I really wanted to. You know, for example, there's actually a convention in town, um, and that's on August 10th at the convention center. That is a convention for people who hold conventions. That is not a joke. The convention convention. It's a convention convention. And they're having it right here in Cleveland. And you know those people know where to have a convention. <laughs> so that says a lot about us. <laughs> yeah, that's a great and point. And it's going to run real smoothly. These you know folks could have had it anywhere. And Vegas, they chose, Orlando. They know. Here. They know where to come. But yeah, that's so. But that's not for you anyways. All the other stuff is for you. You had a reaction to the Bash on the Bay. Who are the artists that are going to be performing there this year? Hardy, Hardy and Jelly Roll. Roll. They got them both. And yeah, they got them both. I don't know who those guys are. <laughs> Listen, I'm going and I don't know who they are. That's fun But anyway. I'm told from those in the know that they were like the one and two best new artists in country music for 2023. Well, that explains my ignorance of them. <laughs> there you go. Right there. <laughs> Me too. I know. I'm, I'm, I feel less bad about it. But, uh, the yeah. week before, I put them on my playlist so I can pretend like I know the words uh -huh. to some of their songs. Uh -huh, so I good. don't look like a complete idiot. Well, you guys get out there and do some fun stuff in Cleveland this year. And you people, too, get out there and do some fun stuff in your amazing city. One other thing. Come back and tell us the date and time once that Super Bowl parade is We're still just figuring, we're just figuring out schedules. we got to make right. sure everybody's going to be in town, you know. Yeah. So, but, yep, no problem. I'm on Thank it. Thank you, Mike. Excellent. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.